Hey everybody, Iron Toast here. Thank you for watching and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to evade both of Nick Fury's specials. Nick Fury is, first of all, an offensive synergy machine. He is great for all of your attacking teams. However, he is also a really good defender, and the, probably the main reason why is because his special one is really difficult to evade, especially when he goes into that unblockable mode, but it can be done. So, uh, Nick Fury, generally when you're fighting him, you want to bring a mutant, obviously. Um, and you always want to try and push him to a special too, because that one actually is really easy to evade. But, if you time it carefully, you can also evade his special one, and I highly recommend that you practice this with a dual target. Or maybe there's somebody in your alliance that has one as their top profile that you can duel against. But practice, practice, practice. Um, basically what you do is there's four dashes back to evade his special one. The first one is the first incoming hit, that's kind of when the screen goes dark. That's the easy part. The second part is also kind of easy, right? He shoots some sort of uh, little flary looking thing at you. That's easy to evade too. Dash back for the hit, dash back for the flare. Then comes the little dive bomb part. That's the tricky part. So it takes two dashes. It's not dashing backwards as fast as you can either. It's a dash and a very slight delay and another dash. The first one has to be timed perfectly and the sequence and I guess the timing in between them also has to be timed perfectly or you will get hit. Luckily it's not that much of a painful of a hit, but you will get hit. Um, as far as evading the dive bombing part, um, what I do, I mean I have the hang of it now so I kind of have the cadence down, but when you're first starting to figure it out, the first dash back of the dive bomb part, so I guess it's the third one overall, but the first one of the dive bomb part is basically when he lifts his hand to his ear, right, to call in the bombs or whatever. And uh, so I would look for that and just, and it's hard to watch him and evade, you know, usually it's, it, it, you're watching your own character, or for me anyway. But when he hits his ear to call it in, that's when you do your first dash back. And I guess you can kind of watch his coattails, because when they swing to the right again the second time, that's kind of when your second evade happens. Uh, that gets a little tricky though, to be honest. I would just get used to the slight delay in between the two dash backs. Remember, it's not as fast as you can dash back, it's a dash, ever so slight of a delay, and another dash back. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, get used to the first two parts. Um, I like to create as much distance as I can. I actually kind of dash back three times a lot um, for those first two bits. And then get the feel for when those dive bombs are coming. Dash back for the third time. And then the fourth time, just a little bit of a delay between three and four. So that's Nick Fury's special one. Um, I hope that helps. Um, definitely practice, practice, practice. And I hope you guys have good luck with that too. It'll really help you once you get the hang of it. There you have it. Nick Fury. Evade his specials. Thank you very much for watching. Do share this video with your alliances. I'm sure there's other people out there that struggle with this. Hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to leave you with this full fight. Iceman versus Nick Fury. Full evading. Catch you next time guys. Bye.